race one of the Repco Mountain Panorama 500 has been run and won. Chad Naylon, we are here live from the fast lane powered by the garage and tipping by the size of this trophy here behind us, I think Ooh. one of the Walkinshaw and Ready drivers may have done quite well today. Yep, that'll be Chaz Mostert. He's picked <laughs> up second. Actually, his teammate did very well as well, yeah. uh, fighting inside the top five towards the end. But well done to everyone down here at Walkinshaw and Ready. United having a, a well-earned feed at the end of the day. The race is uh, well currently done, guys having and a girls. bit of a debrief. Bravo, well done. <laughs> uh, that's a big bank of points for this team, yeah, we joke, yep. but that is actually a great result. And better yet, have a look at the car. Quickly check this out. There's barely a scratch or a, a mark on it. It has come back absolutely pristine. Just a little bit of a clean-up, and this thing will be ready to go back tomorrow, which is more than we can say, Bronny, for a lot of other cars in the field. Yes, and we're going to dive in and talk about some of those very soon. But it's not just the Walkinshaw Andretti United guys that never stop working. We found uh, we found Mark Brett here, who's oh. analysing the data oh, yes. after a big, big That's day. Right thing. What a coincidence! How much data is there to analyse? You <laughs> there know? is a lot. Hey, big, big day for not only yourself but yeah. Channel Seven. First day back on air with the supercars. Yeah, huge day. How did it go? It's like going back to school. No, it was fantastic. I mean, you know, I've sat on the sidelines now for six years, and to have the chance to come back, you sort of realise what a privilege it is. Yeah. Um, and everyone here has been so welcoming. They, you know, we have such a, I guess, a history with the sport. When the big Big Red 7 is here, it sort of feels right, and we got a lot of that feeling today. Um, first day, good. You know, yeah. look, first day is always going to have a few jitters. We haven't done this for a little <laughs> while. So there's some things we'll work on for tomorrow. Um, but, as you know, as a Saturday, it was, it was great. Yeah. I think the coverage was great. Um, yeah, we all found our way. We've got a brand new team too. Like we're bringing Absolutely. Abby Jelmy's in there, Brad Hodges in there, Jack Perkins, who's great. I think you know Jack's really good talent, um, and Molly Taylor, who um, I love walking down the lane yeah. with Molly because everyone here has great respect for her. You know, they know what she's done and what she's doing at the moment with Nico Rosberg's team in the Extreme Racing Series. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's fantastic to have you all back on board. I did notice that there's quite a bit of champagne drunk out of that bottle and mm. uh, I'm, I'm, back, putting, I'm putting two I'm and two back. together. You're back. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of being back, uh, Channel 7 back on air tomorrow for yeah. race two of day yeah. two of the the series? In a big way. So uh, 12 noon tomorrow uh, on 7, the main channel. And we had a lot of sport happening this week, but I think, I think what was really great about today and tomorrow is that Supercars is on the main channel, Horse Racing's on 7 too, AFLW is on 7, mate. So, you know, we've shown that we can make all these great sports work at once, which is brilliant. So 12 to 5 tomorrow and 7 plus our app. So if you've got to go out on your phone or your iPad or at the computer, um, ad free during the races, you know, just, just fantastic. You can take that anywhere. So there's no excuse to not see the action. And I think when it's pouring rain, in the, some of the capital cities, you can sit down and if you've got to go out, you know, you've you got it there with you, which is great. Too much sport is never enough. Well said, Thank Bryony. you, Bruce. We'll let you get back to, to the uh, data analysis. The, yep. I'm sure you'll have Just some... going through the springs and dampers. <laughs> Shocks and springs. Shocks and springs. <laughs> I noticed we've got the dustpan and broom behind him and it just dawned on me. I've never seen... <laughs> Wait, get this on camera because yeah, yeah. we may never ever That's see this right. again. I've never seen Barretts and Bert from BP in the same room at the same time. So <laughs> there you go. And all what of a sudden, it's a broom, is it? Just <laughs> it all of a sudden makes a lot of sense. Oh, Great to have Barretts awesome. back. See you later, guys. Thank you. How and cool yeah, as he said, huge, huge day. Let's, uh, as we're walking down, let's just run through, I guess, the, the race results. We've mentioned already that Chas Mostert did grab second place, but the winner today. Ta da! Shane Van Gisbergen, well and truly back on top, although it wasn't that easy. Uh, yes, he did get pushed by a Chas Mostert, but Cam Waters was the early leader, had issues, had power steering failure, and unfortunately that meant uh, no points for them. Difficult day for Team 18, at least that side of the garage, with the DeWalt car finding damage on lap one, but what a great result for Mark Winterbottom inside the top five. Yeah, absolutely. Really strong start for them, and uh, that bodes well. We, uh, we spoke to Charlie Schwerkot during the telecast, and he's really uh, buoyed by that result. Pretty impressed also, uh, Brody Kostecki. He's just firing along this weekend, isn't he? He's a fired-up kid, isn't he? 11th. This car, thankfully, getting all the laps in today and getting a big bank of points, and that's a hard reward for everyone at Erebus who had to stay up till 4.30 a.m. fixing that car. So it's crazy. They are going to have their, their phones on flight mode, do not disturb, <laughs> and they're going to sleep for 10 hours tonight. But the big story, and it was really towards the last couple of laps of the race, oh. was this huge accident by Tim Slade, and we've, yeah. we've got some overlay of that, so we'll show you exactly what happened to Tim Slade. Here we are. Chad, talk us through it. Yeah, we heard... Oh, God, it doesn't get any easier to look no, at it, does it? He grabbed two gears at once on the downshift, is what he told Charlie Robinson after the race. So, heartbreaker for Tim Slade, heartbreaker for Tim Blanchard and for Cool Drive and for everyone who are on for a really good result. But what a great start for this team and already looking like getting some pretty strong results. Just once more, just watch the downshift for Tim and that was enough to lock the rears went in and hit a very similar spot to where Chas Mostert made contact 
uh, obviously a couple of years ago. But courtesy of all the safety improvements that have been made in the car internally since Chaz's crash, uh, it thankfully meant that Tim was able to bounce out. And the only thing hurt today was, uh, unfortunately, his pride. What a, a massive disappointment that was. And when you saw him sitting up on the hill with the helmet off and um, just reflecting on exactly what happened there he is right now, you can understand why he was so disappointed. And the reason why the uh, team aren't tearing this car apart right now is because the weekend is done for car three and for cool drive. So it's not going to be back out on track this weekend. But I think they've proved a massive point this week that they have the speed. And I get the feeling, Bryony, that they're going to earn themselves a lot of new fans in the series straight away. Oh, 100%. I was um, talking to Tim Blanchard just a little earlier, uh, just uh, seeing if we can drag him away from his dinner to come and have a chat yeah. to us, which would be great. But I said, gee, it's just, it's like their rock moment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you know, Baptist they had a, so a much goodwill, that, uh, you know, a really good qualifying position. They've been, he was fast in both practice sessions yesterday, mm. well inside the top 10. Fourth place, running fourth place in that race, uh, just up until this incident. Here he comes, well, Tim, Tim Blanchard. Blanchard. Thanks for being a champ. We'll grab a quick word with him. Tim, mate, hard luck today. Everyone was cheering for you. Bryony said this is like uh, Dick Johnson's rock moment at <laughs> Bathurst. Are you, are you finding a silver lining today? Uh, yeah, I guess, um, you know, I've said a few times over the weekend, three months ago, we had nothing, a workshop or staff equipment. So put it all together in three months and come to our first ever race and uh, started on the front row and we're fighting for a podium with five laps to go. So, you know, I think that's... That's something we can be really proud of, and um, as gut-wrenching as this is, uh, I think, we, yeah, we couldn't have been pleased with how it went up to that moment. So, um, yeah, a lot, lot to take out of it. Uh, disappointing end, but, yeah, I, I think a lot more positives than, than just that crash. Uh, Resource-wise, got the ability to bounce back from this in time for Sandown? Uh, yeah, well, you, you always find a way. Um, you know, got some pretty dedicated guys, and, uh, yeah, it's just uh, we'll, we'll find a way, and we've got some great people helping us out, and... It's going to be tough, um, yeah, and expensive, but uh, we'll, we'll find a way to make it work. I might add, I love the presentation of the team. I love the, the corporate look that you guys have rolled in with. You mean business this year, and I think you proved that point today, mate. So well done, Tim. Yeah, thanks a lot. Sad Cheers. to see it went the way it did, <laughs> unfortunately. Thanks. Thank thanks for coming and chatting. You can go back to your... <laughs> yeah, we dragged him out of dinner all, all for Facebook today. So thank you very much, Tim, uh, for his <laughs> oh, gracious time. I but hate to see this, don't it's you? It's a sorry-looking Mustang at the moment. But And uh, I don't know, is it... Are we make, making anything between the fact that Garth is near this... Can you see? Really? Yeah, he's got a oh, we've got that on camera. Yeah. Off you go. You know, am I on the payroll here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on the payroll at Cool Drive. <laughs> some goodwill GT. Uh, it's going to take more than me to fix that one, unfortunately. Yeah, hey, just quickly before we do move on, because it's been a big day, new telecast team and you're part of it. Um, what did you make of today's race? Uh, yeah, interesting race. I don't think really think Shane was pushing at the end. Chaz was obviously very fast and closing down that gap. But I don't really think Shane was showing his hand and what he had uh, available at the end of the race. So, um, yeah, not really sure. Um, I, I mean, I'm just, I had to come up and interview Tim and yeah, I was gutted, just absolutely gutted for him. These guys were just telling the team, Brendan Hogan and Mirko, that they were doing such a good job. I mean, if you're ever going to write a script about a fairy tale, I mean, that was battling for the podium and then for it to go south and turn into a nightmare the way it did. Uh, for me, this was the story for the weekend until five to go in that race today. So, a real shame. But uh, look forward to tomorrow. Uh, the weather didn't come today. I don't think it's coming tomorrow. So, it's heads up racing on Sunday. And I think there's a couple of unanswered questions too because we did not see the best of Cam Waters and Anton Di Pasquale, two of uh, who we think may be real championship contenders this year. So, throw them back in the mix tomorrow and, it, it, you know, we could be in for a, a real cracker of a race. Oh, those two are genuine, absolutely genuine red-hot championship contenders. So... Uh, for Cam to go out with a mechanical failure, power steering, and then obviously Anton with his moment up at the cutting. Uh, and I mean, that's, that's hard. I mean, I heard Musk from commentary to say, you can't win the championship at round one, but you can certainly make it harder and then almost lose it in round one. And, and those guys have put themselves on the back foot at this first race. So uh, tough for them. Uh, they'll bounce back tomorrow. Cam Water's got fast car. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind betting he'll be on pole tomorrow yeah. again. Uh, and uh, the Shell V-Power team, they've got a bit of work to do to fix that car because it gave it a good wall rattle. It was like a wall rider around the outside <laughs> at the cutting there. So uh, they've got a bit of work to do tomorrow. I don't think those cars look particularly comfortable in the race. They've got to not only fix them, but I think tune them up a little bit as well. All right. Thank you for your insights. We'll let you go because you have got a lot of work to do <laughs> on this start. car. Yeah. yeah, you better get started. Yeah. It's going to be up until 4.30 <laughs> like the Erebus so, guys were last night. So, Chad, night. I guess as we just mentioned, you know, the two big casualties from today that we, we didn't expect was Anton Di Pasquale, which was quite early on in that race. Uh, yeah. 
you know, just made a mistake, as he admitted, but that was out. Mm -hmm. He was out. And then Cam Waters, we didn't really see anything. We just saw him come into the garage, some power steering issues, I believe. He made it back out, but obviously laps down. And unfortunately... Not back in the points, no. But like uh, we just heard Garth saying, has the ability to bounce back and potentially uh, pick up another Armour or Polo Award. I've been following along the comments on Facebook as we go. Just want to say a big hello to Tom Randall and Zach Best over there. Hey, guys. Tickford's Super 2 team. <laughs> Just, just working hard or hardly working, I'm not quite sure. Zach Best is the man. And uh, hopefully seeing them back out on track tomorrow and perfectly poised as we arrive at Tickford. Absolutely. Well, I was just going to wrap up and say... Yeah. And, uh, I, well, yeah, I wanted to say, yeah, so, comments sorry. Coming Comment, <laughs> comments coming in. Comments uh, coming in. From Sandra, devastating for the team, hopefully onwards and upwards. And uh, one from Luke, you've got a, a new fan in me for Team Cool Drive. So yeah, I think already I, the fans are getting around. I don't think he's going to be the only one. We wish them all the best in uh, getting back out for the next event. But speaking of the next time, we're on track. It's tomorrow morning. We're live on Fox Sports 506 from 8.25am for another qualifying, another top 10 shootout and race two of the championship. We'll see you then.